Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to discuss the upcoming Hyundai Ionic 5. It's a crossover which is all electric from Hyundai. And I'm really excited to see this new crossover that they're coming out with which is going to be fully electric guys. So it just, this is a big deal because Hyundai is a very established company. So if that brand comes out with an all electric crossover that is a very big deal. So that's going to push a lot of customers away from Tesla because generally speaking it might cost a bit lower. So today I'm just going to discuss my thoughts on the new upcoming Ionic 5. So number one, the design. In my opinion, the design of this car, I think is very, very ugly because there are a lot of lines on this car, which I just don't think it works with the car. It's very aggressive and very boxy and very like very angular, but I just don't think that's a good look for this car. Uh, I think the Teslas look better in this case. I understand that they're going for a very aggressive look, but there are a lot of ways to design a car and this one just looks very ugly. A lot of cars out there that are boxy and angular but at the same time they're very smooth and refined and this car just has so many lines all over the car and I think in my opinion it just looks very ugly. Number two, the interior in my opinion is very very good and minimalistic and I love that about cars. Doug DeMiro just did a review on it and I really like the interior. It's very spacious, it has a lot of room, the infotainment is good, it has a lot of safety tech, it has a lot of technology built inside the car that's going to keep the driver safe on the road, which is generally speaking a very good thing coming from a car like this because it's all electric but at the same time it's very safe for the driver and very comfortable for the driver. And not to mention the trunk space in the back, it, ha it has a massive trunk space. Doug DeMiro also talked about that in the video and it's a very good trunk and the overall shape of this car is actually very good but the exterior design just does not match the level of sophistication inside the car. Number three, the range. This car is going to have about 250 to 300 miles of range which is very good but it could be better. The reason I say that is because electric cars is kind of normal now and We've been seeing right around 250 to 300 miles of range. So it's good, but I really think that Hyundai or other electric brands should push the limit and make this car or any car, any electric car better when it comes to battery range and how far it can go. Because 300 miles of range is good enough, but if you have an electric car that can go right around 400 miles, I think it's gonna make this car very, very sweet and very attractive. Number four the brand Hyundai and the general outlook of the automotive industry. So it's a very good thing that Hyundai is coming up with an all electric crossover because a lot of crossovers out there, the customers, they generally want comfortable ride. They want a lot of safety tech and they want to pay a relatively low price for it so they can carry their family around and do whatever. So it's good that Hyundai is taking the initiative to come out with an all electric version of a crossover because the Teslas just cost way too much and it um, turns off a lot of customers and they gravitate towards other brands like Honda, Toyota and Hyundai. So you know it's good that Hyundai is coming out with this crossover that's all electric because the uh, Teslas cost over like 50 grand and they don't want to pay that much but um, coming from like the, like judging by the competition like the Mach-E, the RAV4, the Subaru Crosstrek these are well-known crossovers and they cost right around like 30 grand to 40 grand and if this car ends up costing around 30 grand I think this is a very good price for this car because if that's the case then it's really going to give Tesla a run for their money because now you have an all-electric crossover that's from Hyundai so a lot of customers are more likely to go to Hyundai because they know they have the dealership they have everything in place so they can just go in and buy it because of the Tesla's high price uh, a lot of customers just don't go to Tesla even though they want an electric car. So in my opinion, Hyundai is doing the right thing. They're following the industry trend. So anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and let me know down in the comments below, do you agree with me? Like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching.